All right, well, hey guys, I'm gonna continue the flight test today here at Inverness. I brought out one of each disc and I've kept them in the neutron plastic so they'll all be neutron. I kind of find that good middle range for each one of these. So I've got the hex, the reactor, and the matrix. And then I've only got the pyro in the prism, but we're still gonna test this out with the other ones and see how it does. I'm just gonna play each one of these on each hole, just kind of give it a real world challenge and see how we do. All right, let's go have some fun. All right guys, so I'm starting on hole number six because there's some folks on the front part and I literally just got off of my motorcycle, haven't warmed up, but we're just gonna go because uh, it's a holiday and they're gonna be a good group of people coming through. So let's see what we can do. Drop my shoulder a little bit on that one. Ah, I did that one too. That one's gonna leak off to the left. I didn't give those last two a good run. First two felt pretty good. One of the things that is good for testing out the disc is throwing forehands on them, even approach shots, because you'll get a good idea of their stability. Don't study my form, it's not that great. She wanted the disc, I know. How's she doing with the training on the disc? Hey, sweetie. Hey, hey. All right, great to see you. Molly, you, you gonna come with me, Molly? <laughs> Here's another good test. I'm gonna go straight down the alley to the B basket, the blue basket. Just gotta miss that pine tree. I'm just gonna grab them out of my bag. I'm not, hopefully that way it'll randomize it so I'm not just throwing one disc to start out with every time. Yeah, I think the uh, pyro is the most stable. Oh, I dropped that one. Ignore that throw.
of the things we want to know, not only how they fly just out in the field, but approach shots and stuff like that, so. That was kind of a good tale of how uh, stable they were. Pyro more stable, fall more over here. Uh, the hex, because it has more glide, held on and then fought back over. Now. It's that glide. There's a little bit of wind and it did lift both of them a little bit. I can tell you from the start, I'll take any one of these discs. I like them all. It's really just kind of flavoring. I think my game style, the reactor is probably fitting that slot best for me right now. If I had to choose one, but I could see bagging almost all these. I'd probably do a, a hex a reactor in the pyro. Just the matrix is good. I, I don't know, I'm still out on the matrix. All right, so just out in the gap, let it fall back to the basket. A little long. Slipped up a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna be a song every time I drop that shoulder. That's just... When I try to steer instead of throw. little low it'll burn out but it'll hit that hill so far i've missed throwing the matrix twice don't uh don't read anything into that yet. That's why I'm trying to trade, switch around when I throw what, because a bad throw can pop up at any time. This is a tricky landing. I try to match the hill. You use your height to let it flop in soft. Oh, where am I? There we go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what I was saying about the uh, the three discs. Oh heck, I'll put this back here. But uh, yeah, that's pretty consistent. That's funny. <laughs> I'm, le I'm legitimately trying to run these just to see how they feel. is either a good backhand hole or a turnover. I think it's early enough I'm gonna go backhand. We'll try to turn over later. I 
We're going for the one up the hill. Okay. First off, too far. Second off, it flew nice. I was expecting it to turn a little bit more. It actually came out of it more than I expected, so a little more stability than I thought. Of course, I was a little bit nose up, but not too bad. I promise I'm not trying to cheat with the reactor. It just seems to talk to me more than the other ones. And that's how it goes sometimes. I kind of fluff that one a little bit. Again, I'm going to try to run these. Not really worried about where they go by. That's where, probably wasn't even on camera. That glide just carried it a lot farther than I expected. It's not a bad thing, especially if you need some extra distance. Uh, I tend to throw heavier uh, stuff that doesn't have quite as much glide so I can have a little bit more accuracy. But the glide on this thing is great. Yeah. I normally throw a thumber on this and we could test the thumbability of it. But I'm gonna do a forehand on this one. Hooked up pretty early for its stability. We got a little headwind coming up, so I was expecting a little more flip up. Wind's coming this way. I thought it'd pop up a little bit more before it rode. I keep throwing long with the hex, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just forget that it's got that extra carry. Miss the tree? Of course not. Mm. You gotta try to just miss that tree for it to break back. That's running pretty good. Now, I pushed it in early. I didn't give it a chance. Just because it's woody and funky, I'm going to hold this one when I throw it. That was totally, I should have put the camera down. <laughs> All right, but I'm not gonna learn. Don't roll, Whew. goodbye. Well, I'm be working on that one. I think the other disc got together and said, let's have the reactor mess up a little bit so he doesn't like it as much. All right, so we got, Two right here. I'm just gonna try to lay up. A little flick. Same thing.
find the hex. Oh, perfect. That's how we like it. <laughs> All right. Wet flick. go for the blue basket and normally I throw over here to the left just let it hit the hill and do that but I'm gonna go for the, the gap up high over this tree to let it drop at the basket Hit the eye of Sauron. Had a little grip lock on that one. Push that one. I'm not releasing well on this. There's one reason why I like to go to the left. For some reason, I don't like throwing up here. Overcooked that one. Now a slightly wet hex. Now push that one too high. That had less to do with the disc and more to do with my bad throws. Those kind of shots kind of tell me how the uh, stability is. I was expecting it to be a little more stable, which means it's a straight flyer. Not a bad thing, I love straight flying discs. But sometimes you just can't tell when you're throwing full power trying to get long distance drives. I often learn the characters of the disc better with these approach shots. This guy's my problem child, and I don't understand why. <laughs> certain plastics, certain discs talk to you. There's a bear in the woods up here, guys. Oh no, it's just Alan. <laughs> You're in the shade. <laughs> How's it going? All right, I'm gonna take off this second layer. Getting a little, getting a little warm, yeah. Especially coming up that hill. I am up. 
doing a flight test with the uh, this for two months the uh, MVP uh, no 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 I've got the neutron I mean the uh, the matrix the hex yeah, and, and, and the reactor and the then reactor the pyro way overstable, right? which one the reactor is real overstable. not real overstable uh it's kind of mid it reminds me of I, it's my favorite of these the hex extra glide it, it kind of reminds me of Mako 3 with a little extra glide to it I keep throwing this too far and uh and uh the pyro is a little more it's the most overstable yeah, it's more like driver, more and, more and the matrix bridge. matrix and the reactor are about like about the same i think the matrix might be a little bit more stable so if i put these in a line i think it's like that okay yeah, yeah. uh and uh i got them in all the different plastics and been thrown a million of them uh really great disc the hex but with wind it can get more squirrely because of the glide so, but uh, just wants to keep going. Uh, my favorite so far is the reactor. It just talks to me. And for some reason, the Matrix, P and I don't get along real well. And I don't know why. It's pretty much, I mean, these are all within the, like the Mako to, to Buzz overstable. Okay. Uh, so they're all right there in that area. But, uh, and they're not that much different. I mean, I could take any one of them and be happy with it. Yeah. All right, so we got a little crosswind coming across here, so I'm just gonna put it out and let it fall. Now well, hit the bottom of the cage. Uh, pulled it a little bit, but there's a little bit long. That's gonna dump out a little hard left. See, it's a little more stable, but I also got the nose up slightly on that one. That wasn't as clean a release. What is it about that matrix? <laughs> Three right at the basket, and then the matrix just, and it may be that I'm expecting it to be flatter than it is, and it's more stable. I'm gonna start throwing it like the pyro and see if that helps. Because I'm trying to throw it, I'm thinking it's, it and the reactor are about the same, but I don't think that's the case. And sometimes just getting in your head what the disc does to make all the difference in the world. So I'm going to throw this T-pad because you can watch the disc a little bit better than the one from up on top of the hill. And I'm not going to go, even though you can see the gold basket, I'm going to go for the uh, blue basket. To, well, no, to be honest, this will be a better test. I'm going to try to see how straight I can keep these, because this is a tough test. Like I said, I want to go to the blue basket. No, no, I'll keep going to the... <laughs> it was a good release, and it held, and then it just faded out like it should. Put that a little more right so that it's got some carry back with a little tree love help. I'm gonna do the same for this one. A little more overstable, Pete. Yep, it's more overstable than I, I give it credit for. Because I put that on pretty good Anheuser. That's what my problem's been. I've been thinking it's flatter. Hmm. 
A little over the top. Gave you a little run. Okay, these two by the basket are only because trees gave me some good love at the end. Since I'm doing a test, might as well undo one from each of the other discs that are way down here. Settle. A little higher, miss that tree, dang it. That's the problem when you swing that out. You gotta make sure you don't swing it too far, hit a tree. Nope. Found a disc. I was going to do a backhand shot up here, but y'all have seen that, so I'm going to go. We have a third basket on this hole. It's tucked over to the right, so let's try some forehands. I haven't played this basket in a while. Yeah, you want to miss that tree. I think I need to go inside of that. Yeah, <laughs> these are not the disc problems. These are uh, aiming problems. Because I don't throw forehands on angle like that much, I find I tend to saw them off. And that's why the last two, the reactor and the hex, which flip up a little bit more, carried better. There's nothing. All right, got a tiny little window. Yeah, perfect. Boy, just nothing. <laughs> just all these little tiny branches that don't give you any real alleys. In my mind, I was just gonna slide right through one of them perfectly. I should have. Even going up and over, it's just so many of these little branches. <laughs> it's some high quality stuff here. Let's go up and over. Oh, my hex worked out pretty good on that one. Tell you what, I'm not even gonna throw my reactor for the sake of time. It's just up the hill a little bit. It did decent. Nothing to write home about on that one. But like I said, that was me, not the disc. All right, guys, well, we're finishing up the front nine. I know I started on six uh, and uh, having a good time. Let me reiterate, gear is great, but it's not the end all to everything. Any one of these discs is great. Uh, work on your form, get out and play. Uh, so much more important than having just the right disc. All right, preaching's over. I'll see you on the backside. <laughs>